today. Four, that's my cannon, and this is 90 Mile Beach. Parked outside Kepler's in Hamilton, Thursday before Matariki. I'm heading to the far north! Yay! Well, our first check up in our adventure. We knew we weren't going to get to Hero City before 9 o'clock. So we rang ahead and they said, the gate's closed at 9 o'clock and there's nothing we can do. Go away. So here we are in a motel in Pagaare. Tomorrow morning we're heading west, hopefully, towards the Whitecore Forest. We're at Waipua Forest. This is Tane Mahuta, the Lord of the Forest. She's a big tree, fam. Big tree. It's persisting down. It's raining so hard. We're sliding around on the road on the past seal. We bailed out of our campsite because this is just ridiculous. No way that we can camp with this. This is what you're seeing now is light rain compared to what we have seen earlier today. So we're heading to Pai here for a nice warm motel room. It's Saturday, we're leaving Pai here. This is the first sign of good weather we've seen in our weekend. We're about two hours drive away from the Cape, so we're going to hit the Cape. And then get out to 90 Mile Beach and do some playing in the sand. The weather forecast isn't looking too bad today. Everyone else has bailed on us because it was really rubbish weather for the last two days. So we're on our own. It's taken us two and a half days of really bad weather. We're at the top. Let's go for a walk out to the lighthouse. Here I am, moonwalking my way to Cape Reading the lighthouse. Let's spin around. Let's see Teresa take us over this. This is Topaki Stream Road, those are the Topaki Sand Dunes. We're heading down to the stream. Ah, oncoming traffic. So if you're a two-wheel drive, park here, go for a walk across the stream. We're not going to park here. We're going to head down into the stream and out to the beach. The entrance to Topaki Stream. Warning! Recommended four wheel drive access only. This is going to take us down to the beach, hopefully. Look at that awesome ass. Easy, it's really hard sand. If I tried to drive up there, it would not be really hard sand. That looks really soft. We'll follow this stream down for a bit and see where we end up.
<laughs> very cool. This is not very four wheel drive, really. like you could get down here in any two wheel drive, probably. But you feel cool. Don't know where I'm going, just following the stream. Looks like a Looks like I go that way. The sign at the beginning does say recommended four wheel drives only. And here we are. By ourselves. Driven up to Paki Stream. Halfway down to the, uh, the beach. We go for a short walk up sand dunes. It's cool man. I mean, it doesn't matter that it's only a few inches deep. Everyone likes playing in the puddles, don't they? How cool is that? <laughs> Doing about 60 kilometers an hour. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. There's 90 mile beach. was low tide about an hour and a half ago so we should be good for a little while honestly you could come down here in your Prius or your Tesla we're alone on 90 mile beach this is very cool blue sky That's the north, that's where we've come from. That's where we're heading somewhere down there, Ahipara. <laughs> Teresa's laughing in the background because I'm selfie while doing 100 kilometers an hour on the sand. And that is the surf. Look, no hands. Let me show you my view. How cool was that? Very, very, very cool. That is New Zealand. I'm going to do a skid. Wow. Oh, sideways. <laughs> wow. And that is the sea. And I did that sideways because I'm a hooligan on 90 mile beach. Let's Hang turn on. around and do the other one. Hang on. Sideways. <laughs> Just to prove it, I'm going to get out and show you my tracks. It was supposed to be so easy This is what getting stuck looks like in the sand <laughs> It's just dug a hole and Going nowhere And no traction on the front either Might just uh, chuck some tracks under there for a second. Far out, I'm unfit. So I went over a sand brow. I hesitated. Bloody thing sunk. Trees and I dug ourselves out. So, pro tip, always take a shovel. That's it, it's all over. We're on Kaka Street in Ahipara. Crawling our way through town. It's about an hour and a half's drive back to Pai here, which is where we're headed for tonight. Got stuck. 
reason I had to dig ourselves out. Basically just because I couldn't see over my bonnet and I pussied out. If I did it again I could just like charge through it full throttle and I could fine. Oh well. As I said, shovel, important. Max tracks or recovery boards, call them whatever you want. I don't have the official max tracks, I have super cheap trek recovery boards. Essential on a trip like this. Absolutely essential. Senpai here. Now a week later, sitting in my office, doing some videos. What a cool trip. Shame it rained so much in the first couple of days, but the weather is the weather. Always wanted to drive the length of 90 mile beach from Tipaki Stream to Ahipara. Finally got to do it. Got stuck in the sand, dug myself out. Kind of enjoyed that. Um, ooh. See you on the next trip. I'm Paul, and you've been watching me drive my GWM Canon on 90 Mile Beach.